Hello and welcome back to Vintage Treasures. Today I'll be doing a semi throw overview of the Target exclusive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie star uh, reproductions. These things were a pain to get uh, in the pre orders, everyone was ordering them rapidly. Now I know there's a lot of complaints about them, obviously, some money cuts and stuff like that. Uh, like uh, accessories in and of themselves. Are just re recasted from the 88 accessory board. I don't care too much. They can only hold two accessories at a time, so I don't see the big thing about that. You can just hold the nunchucks, or hold the sword, or hold the bow, or hold the sigh. But uh, there, then there's errors like this with the Raphael's eyes. They're a little wonky. But then there's like bigger problems, and I, I don't know. I haven't seen any bigger problems. I I don't know. If, if, if I see any, I'll show you. All jokes aside, this is such a big disappointment. This has to be the biggest drawback for this set. And honestly, this thing made me not want to review this toy as a whole. That and just me being lazy. But mostly that. Let's just say that. It's a lazy recast of the 88 uh, Playmates regular splinter from the cartoon line. And this is the original. Now, they could have just done, uh, they could have just redone him to kind of look like the movie one, or just not have put the fabric on him. Not put the, not, not the fabric, the little fur he has. But no, they completely made his belt a different color and design. His accessories are all different, which I expected the whole set is. This is I, this is so disappointing, but uh, there's something there's something that I was looking forward to in this set, and that of course being Super Shredder. This thing is as accurate as I've ever uh, I've ever seen a reproduction Ninja Turtle, and in the movie line, this is a breath of relief. The accessories are almost the same color; they're a little darker in the repo. They're made of the same material. The eyes are still very, very, very well painted. Let me just show you that. This camera doesn't like focusing. So you can see the pupils in that one. You can see the pupils in that one. They're actually, on this particular figure, a little bit better on the repo. Accessories are the same. They didn't recast the uh, cartoon turtles uh, uh, shredder, which I'm happy about. This was... A whole reason to buy the set. I could buy the whole set and just be happy with this, and I'd be fine with that. Oh, there's one. There's two more things I want to talk about, though, and we'll start with this. Another loss that was quite possibly even worse than this abomination of a splinter is the lack of two very important characters to the second 1992 movie, being Toko and Razar. They're completely missing from the set. It's very disappointing. I love these figures. I know they would have casted uh, the accessories. The accessories would have been probably from I don't know. I I think that was a problem. Accessories and the mold of the figures themselves. They'd rather just pop out some random characters and not have the set be sixty dollars. But overall, pretty satisfied. And last thing we're gonna look at today is the box. So, basic, nothing to base this on, it's just something new, I appreciate it, it's very nice looking, turtles, and then the nice etched sketch of a roof of one of the cabins, then on the ba uh, bottom we have the lineup of characters that are included, with a nice movie star logo. One thing I did notice that I didn't notice before, is the holes in the feet. The turtles and uh, the turtles in Splinter have the 2012 hole sized feet, and Super Shredder has the regular sized ones, uh, which makes playability with the uh, with the old classic toys quite impossible. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. Like in the video, uh, comment what I should do next, and I hope to see you very soon.
All right, goodbye.